Hi everyone, it's me Sam and thanks for clicking on this channel today. Today is Madness Monday. It's the day where all the main thrift stores in my town have really good sales and today I decided to make good use of it. So let me start off and show you what I got in my thrift haul today. My local Goodwill, just a second, which is the one where I typically shop at, gets really good clothes. I think we get ours directly from Seattle. I don't know. I think they just, you know, they ship it across the water to us, our store, and it's a really good store for clothing. Anyway, the first item I got and all the items I did get were, I think they were $1.49 or $1.79. But either way, each piece is under $2. Pretty good deal. I got my son, my 12-year-old, a nice little uh, cotton, I think it's a rayon blend. Anyway, he needed a new dress shirt because yesterday I got him some new dress pants and a new tie and I'm, um, because he's just growing like a weed and all of his things no longer fit him. <laughs> so I'm having to hurry up. But uh, the next piece I got is by Daniel Ryan. It's a small and it's just a really cute, stretchy um, button down. It's really long, which I like. Um, but yeah, I just got, I love shirts like this. They're just really comfortable. They're actually light. And I like them when they're long because they'll cover my hips, which I prefer. It makes me look longer legged, even though I'm not, I have long legs for my size, but I like to appear taller than I am. And uh, that was a really nice buy. It's very good quality. You can see that. Next one I got is by DKNY. It's a size medium. It's this really soft, like, silk little jacket with the kind of like boxy style sleeves. Like that, you know? And it's got tied at the end. What I really like, I don't know if you can see it, is you can tie the front while the front is completely open. So it provides like decent coverage without making you hot, which during, you know, late spring and early summer here in the Pacific Northwest is nice. Because even though it's sunny and it can be warm out, it does tend to stay, you know, for the most part nice and cool even during summer, with maybe the exception of a one or two week period where it's like, you know, unseasonably hot. But this is really nice, very good quality, especially for a dollar seventy nine. So, next item I got was from Dolce Vita, and it's this really cute neon green vest. I totally love it. Can you see that? It's just so cute. I love neon green, and the lining is neon green. I used to um, in high school. I had a body glove. Um, a swimsuit that was in this neon green. I used to love it so much. And anyway, yeah, that's very nice. This is not a cheap item, and the fact that I got this for like $1.79 is a total steal. It makes my thrifting heart happy. Uh, anyway, the next item I got is from BCBG, Max Azria, and it's a really pretty top, just a simple top. It's gray like this. And it has that little that little cross section across here that just flutters out like that. It's kind of long, which I prefer. Uh, this would look really good with a pencil skirt. Um, just beautiful. I love it. It's soft, and I love this color gray on me too. So that was nice. Of course, a great deal, right? Under two dollars. Next item I got was also from BCBG. Max Azri, and this is a size small. It's a long dress, so I can't show you the whole thing. But basically, it's one of those numbers. Now, these can run the risk of making, you know, your front part not look as perky as they might be. But in my case, I tried this on. It looked really, really good on me. And uh, it fit me so nicely. It's just really long, um, about mid-calf length on me. And it's just, oh, such good quality. And that'll go great with that um, army green, like, short little coat to wear. And so I'm really excited for that. And that was $1.79. I 
The next one was from Forever 21. Typically I wouldn't spend the, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't buy thing from Forever, anything from Forever 21 at a thrift shop, thrift stop, thrift shop, stop, hello. <laughs> This girl needs some coffee. But anyway, this was so cheap, I had to do it. It was brand new, obviously never been worn. Um, but it's just basically this cute little vest with, you know, uh, kind of like a peplum style almost. So it cinches in and then flares out around the hips. It's really cute. I love this. This is great to just dress up a plain um, cotton tee or a long sleeve. Totally my kind of style of thing. Uh, the next item I got, M. Taylor Loft. It's extra small. It's just a ruched, you can see it by the sleeves a little bit, a ruched black tank dress. So, yeah, it just fits really nice. It's very simple. This is going to be a great item to layer or just to wear on a daily basis. You can even wear it to the beach and look nice. It's very great quality. Um, nice heavy cotton which is nice because when you wash it it's not going to turn gray or icky. You know how black cotton just can, most cottons, you know, if they're not good quality they'll just look horrible after one wash and drying. Next item I got is this really pretty, I don't know, what would I call it, like safari dress? Anyway, I have a beautiful black a uh, really nice tuxedo blazer that'll go really well with this. So I'm looking forward to wearing this to a convention here pretty soon. Uh, but I do like it. It's really nice. Fits me great. And what's not to love about a steal at $1.79. Next item is another dress. Because in case you haven't figured it out, I love dresses. And it's a blue and white polka dot dress. Just like that. It's got a little tie at the front. Cinched waist. And a short little um, skirt attached to it. It's really cute with um, see-through sleeves like that on both ends. I think it look great with the alternating color thin belts like a red or a chartreuse or a neon color belt with maybe a cute shoe to match or something like that. Sandal would look really adorable with this. And anyway, I love polka dots and I love stripes. I love patterns. Uh, not huge large patterns, I prefer small patterns over large ones. But uh, The next item I got is from J. Jill. <clears throat> J. Jill is very expensive typically. I would never walk into one of their stores and buy anything because this dress, which is a basic black long sleeve shift dress, just black, about mid calf length, darted around the shoulders on the top and just a long sleeve stretchy sleeve, you know, little keyhole, you know, around the wrist. Very simple. It has a little matching black corded belt to just kind of tie around the waist um, in the front. It's very cute. But her items, this, this item in store, I don't know how much it was, but I'm guaranteeing it was probably $178, if not $200 for this dress. I would never pay that much for something that simple. But the quality is very good. It's super heavy. Very nice black fabric. And you can wear this with so much. And I look forward to transitioning this into fall because I have beautiful vests that I could wear with this, like fur vests. Um, that would just, man, this would make for a really great fall um, winter um, staple, I think, too. So looking forward to getting some good use out of that. And the last one I got was a Betsy Johnson dress, which is so nice because they no longer have Betsy Johnson stores. So, um, anyway, it's really, it's kind of long, but the lace goes all the way down to the bottom, like that. And it's 100% silk, and it's just really pretty with that burgundy lace overlay in certain parts. This is all silk in the back, it ties around. But it's, I tried it on, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's got those beautiful, like, 1920s Daisy Buchanan shoulders. <laughs> you know, where the material just flows around the shoulders like that. It's just so pretty. And I love these colors. It's so, so romantic. And I love lace. Oh, my gosh. Leather or lace? I am for sure a lace person. <laughs> I love lace. Especially Point d'Esprit. Oh, I just love lace. So anything with lace is a big hit with me. 
And anyway, that is my Monday Mayhem thrift haul for today. Um, also, as a note, um, regarding my perfume videos, I have acquired a couple more scents and as well, I think I actually have discovered my signature scent. I've had a series of favorites that I would consider a signature scent, but recently, oh my gosh, I ran into this scent and I purchased it and let's see if you can figure it out. I'm a big fan of Chanel perfumes, some okay? kind. I love Chanel number no. 5. I love the way it smells, but it smells like horrible on me personally, but I still always will have a Chanel number no. 5. And one of my signature perfumes I've loved forever is Chanel number no. 19. I love powdery florals that has a green spiciness to it. This perfume to me is the perfect blending of Chanel number no. 5, Chanel number no. 19 with that added spice that to me, that's uh, that yellow spiciness that's almost uh, uh, Mohora by Galan, like together in one. And rather, since I have difficulty wearing Chanel number no. five, this smells divine on me. Oh, I've had such a visceral experience of it. I cannot wait to upload or to film and upload this video on what I can see in the future being my signature scent. I am so excited to share that with you. So. Comment below if you think you know what perfume I'm hinting at. And I would be so excited if somebody actually hit on the nose exactly what perfume I'm talking about. Um, and it's not a new one, it's an, it's an older one. It came out in the 70s. So if you could figure that out, and down below, double thumbs up for you because I never ran across it before until very recently and now I think I am obsessed. So look for that video coming up soon. I'm also doing um, videos um, in conjunction with my blog post. So check out my blog, Samantha's Perfume Diary at blogspot.com. If you don't want to read the detailed description of my reviews or the products I'm looking at, then you can just watch the video. It's a much shorter um, uh, review on the products I'm looking at. So anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press like if you did and subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see me review next and I will see you on my next Monday Mayhem. Bye!